So with our calibrated air pump, we can now run formaldehyde tests. So we're going to have to keep the pump running for 30 minutes. I have a timer running on my cell phone. I set a 29 minute instead of a 30 minute timer so that I'd have a minute to um, shut off the system. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a photo of my unopened tube with my photo test card. And I'm going to do that to prove that the ends are closed before my test. And then when I take the photo at the end, the timestamp on that photo will prove that uh, I've only been pumping the tube for half an hour. And that's a part of our data record that we're going to save around this test. So I filled out my DIY formaldehyde test card. And I am going to take a photo of it now. And now I'm going to break the ends off and get the pump started. So I use the tube breaker over the trash can and just snap the end off. Insert my tube into the top of the pump and set my timer on the same time I turn the uh, pump on. All right, so I'll be back in a half an hour to turn the, to check this uh, sample out. Okay, so we're done uh, running a 30 minute test. Turned off the pump. Now I'm going to pull out the tube and take a look at it. It looks like it's stained down to 07 about, which I can then look up in our chart. So I know that I got 0.7, so I can follow this row across and 32 degrees uh, centigrade was the temperature in here. So we're looking at 42 parts per billion or 0 0.042 parts per million as our final reading. Sorry, 0 0.045. I'm then going to take a photo of uh, the test card, a final photo. And then I'll email it to myself as an extra record of the timestamps that I used.